Hey everyone, Rob the Average Lawn Guy. Welcome back to the channel. With all the rain and warm weather we've had lately, this is a time when bugs are going to start to come out. Now it's very important to be proactive with bugs. Don't wait until they become a problem to treat it then. You want to treat it right now before it becomes a bigger problem. Bug control is one of those that's really underrated and people kind of forget that it's one of the applications you need to do for your turf and around your home. And bugs are not usually a problem for most people until you start to come out on your patio or having a barbecue. And this is when you're swarmed with flies and mosquitoes and different types of crawling insects. Now just a small disclaimer, you can go out and buy commercial products for your application. You're gonna spend more money up front but you're saving money down the line. But the issue most people find with commercial product is you're gonna need to be a little bit more exact when it comes to your application. You need a backpack sprayer, you need to apply the mixtures at the correct rate. And I can understand this is a problem for some people, but the method I'm gonna show you is an easy big box store solution you can use to effectively eliminate bugs on your turf. Now, when you say bug control, bug control is a really big and broad topic to tackle and it can be a little overwhelming if you don't know where to start. So what I like to do is split it into five phases of attack. There's your fortification, camouflage, ground attack, air attack, and decoy. Each one of these have their purposes and I'm gonna go into detail on exactly what they mean. Now to fortify. Fortification means enforcing your perimeter. So one of the best ways to prevent bugs from entering your home is to fortify your foundation. And the easy way to do this is to take a hose end sprayer and spray your foundation. What you're trying to do is you're spraying up about two to three feet and out about two to three feet. This is gonna give you a nice perimeter defense that's gonna create a barrier that bugs cannot penetrate. So this is one of the ways that you can prevent bugs from entering your home. Now, if you don't have kids or pets, you can actually spray one of these home defense ready to use bottles around the perimeter of inside your home. The issue with this is if you have kids and pets, you cannot really do this or so you have to be very careful. So this is not for everybody. The next plan of attack is to camouflage. Everyone has a garbage can around their home and that garbage can stores all the garbage you're producing for the entire week in order for it to be collected by the garbage truck. But before it gets collected, a lot of the garbage is gonna sit in there and start to rot, and produce an odor. So what you wanna do is apply a deodorizer. After the garbage gets picked up, when the can is empty, this is when I'll spray my deodorizer to actually minimize the smell coming from inside of, of the garbage can. Now once every two days, I'll spray the can even more with the deodorizer, maybe three or four pumps of the deodorizer. A really good deodorizer I like to use is called Odoban. And what you do, you put this in a spray bottle. You can purchase these spray bottles anywhere and this will store your deodorizer ready to be used at any time. So you just simply spray your can every two days or so until the garbage is collected. Spraying with the deodorizer is going to effectively eliminate or reduce the smell coming from the garbage can and this will reduce the chances of flies coming inside your home or coming around your home from the smell of the garbage. Now one user actually suggested that you take a cap full of bleach and once in a while, maybe once every six months, you put the bleach in the garbage can and you rinse it out with your hose. This is a really good idea and I actually did this one time. So it might be helpful to use this method every couple months to keep the garbage can clean. Your next plan of attack is your ground attack. One of the best ways to control any crawling insects on your turf is to spread a granular insecticide. Choose whatever insecticide you want but using any insecticide in its granular form that's made for your grass will effectively eliminate and reduce the amount of crawling insects on your lawn. That includes ants, cockroaches, centipedes, you name it. A granular insecticide is the way to go with this. Now, the key thing you wanna remember with any granular product is that you need to water it in. It's not gonna take effect until you water it in. So once you spread any granular product, you really want to water it in. 
So what I like to do every two to three months during the active growing season, I'll use a granular insecticide, but I'll use it at the highest rate. So what that does is that not only will it control and eliminate the amount of crawling insects on the lawn, it will also get rid of grubs. A lot of the insecticides are listed to kill grubs, but usually at the highest rate. So every three months, I'll apply a granular product on my lawn at the highest rate. And if I happen to have grubs at the time, it's gonna eliminate those. So the next plan of attack is your air attack. You're not really targeting the air, but you're more targeting everywhere else that's not your turf. So that includes your fence, fence posts, any wood line areas, trees, bushes. What you wanna do is use the hose end sprayer and spray any one of these areas. By spraying these areas, you're gonna reduce the amount of hornets on your property. You're gonna reduce or eliminate any mosquitoes. You're gonna reduce the chances of flies on your property as well. I like to do this every two to three months with my granular treatment. Finally, your last phase, your last plan of attack is your decoy phase. What your decoy consists of is fly traps. On my property, in my wood line area, I like to set up one or two fly traps every three to four weeks. This is gonna be a lure, a bait to attract flies. And once flies get in, they cannot get out. Using these fly traps will effectively reduce the amount of flies on your property. You can see a video of this fly trap right here. I actually had to go back and change this out two weeks later. You can see it has hundreds of flies in there. I can't tell you how many it has. It's recommended to change this product out every 30 days, but I find I can't even get by 30 days with this. I have to change it out every two to three weeks. This is how much flies it actually traps. Another form of fly traps is these sticky traps. What I like to do is stick these on my patio and above my garbage can. By strategically placing these sticky traps, one above my patio and one above the garbage can, I'm gonna increase my chances of catching these flies before they get into the home. Again, I like to change these out every 30 days for maximum effectiveness. Now here's a bonus tip for you guys. Certain plants have a natural tendency to repel bugs. What I end up doing is purchasing lavender plants and planting them around my patio. I have two in planting pots and two next to my air conditioner condensers. The smell of the lavender will repel flies and mosquitoes. It may not be 100%, but it's a natural way to go about it. And you'll get a good smelling plant that's gonna last all season long. So controlling bugs on your property is very easy to do. And you can do this using big box store chemicals that you can easily get. Now, just a reminder, you can do the same thing with commercial products if you're willing to spend more money up front, or you're saving more money down the line. So I hope you found this video useful. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing for more future content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later.